morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm Ashley Cole, and welcome to Mass Appeal. Seth Stutman is off today. Summertime, you know, it's made for grilling. I'm sure you could see the smoke right in front of my, my face. But even when it's raining outside like today, you can still grill inside, Absolutely. right? You Absolutely. can have that grill taste indoors. I'm with Kathleen Delaney. She's the owner of Great Grapes Catering. And it's always nice to have you in the kitchen. And uh, obviously, you're cooking up something delicious. I am. I'm just grilling some shrimp. I wanted to show you a couple different techniques of how you can skew your shrimp. Okay. Um, these, are, these are just nice... Um, you know, you, you can do it the long way and so that they come off nice and long. Or you can just throw them right on your grill pan or in a grill basket. And what I like to do is I make my own curries and things. So I put a little turmeric and um, some cumin, salt, pepper, fun stuff. Give it a little color. Is it spicy at all? Smell What'd it. You say? Not at all. It is oh, delicious, it's actually. Just it's got a little amazing. cayenne, but that, you know, when you make your own, you can make it however you like. You just mix your um, your own spices together and bring out whatever flavors you really would go perfectly with the shrimp. It sounds like it's a lot of work to make your own curry or make your own spices, no, but really, not at all. It's easy. It's now, fun. These are shrimpy shrimp, huh? Yeah, they are shrimpy today. They are. But, <laughs> but I also have some scallops. Not shrimpy in flavor, shrimpy in size. And they're delicious. No, yeah. I think they're adorable. And okay. the your way kids you, can eat those too. You said, <laughs> <laughs> you said the long way, so that you're. They actually don't even look like shrimp on a skewer. Well, they look like. You take like off a, the ends and then you just put them on the, the long way and so that they don't curl up on you. Now, do you have to soak the skewers in water? Uh, I did not do these today, but you you can, um, kind of the same way you would soak a cedar plank if you were cooking some, you know, some Salmon fish on or it or something. Okay. Yeah. And this Absolutely. is a grill pan. We talk about grilling indoors to get that grill flavor. When you grill outside, you get the grill, the charcoal mm -hmm. flavor. Absolutely. When you grill in a grill pan in your kitchen like this, do you still get that same taste? I think that you get that, uh, the idea that it, it's seared quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, of course, you're going to over, over charcoal, you're going to get a better, you know, a, or a better wood fire. Flavor, you know, yeah. you're gonna, you're gonna, but it still does the same thing of the, of the idea of, of searing it fast and making all the um, the caramelization happen, mm -hmm. too. And so today, my favorite thing to grill, actually, I just did a wine dinner the other night for a good friend, and we had a one of the one of the um, courses was scallops with um, grilled peaches over a salad. Oh, I wish I was the good friend that you did it. Well, for. just you were too. Kathleen. You're so busy. Yeah, well, yeah, next time, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I'm going to grill some peaches. That sounds amazing. It is. It's really delicious. And what happens is, I, it's great that it's on a grill pan today because some of the flavors, some of the the curry, some of the turmeric that I have on there, will also in, infuse into the peaches. So on a regular grill, you may not you might not get that, but today right. you get that nice flavor, and then you make a quick vinaigrette, and you put it all over your salad, and it's delicious. Oh my goodness, it sounds so so yummy and so fancy, but it really and is peaches very Peaches are very much in season right now, so yes. it's great. You know, you got to even even if they're a little hard, you can put them on the grill and then they become they ripen up really nicely. So you actually want to pick your peaches to be a firm. little bit firm. Okay. Yeah. Now, with the grill pan on the stovetop, mm -hmm. do you want to make sure that it's really really hot uh -huh. before you put your, your you food on? You want to put it on nice and hot. Yes, okay. absolutely. Plus it'll it'll lower the you want to sear your food. You definitely, especially with um with my uh, my beautiful scallops that I'm going to put Beautiful. So you want those nice lines. That's yes, you the do. The look of it too. And honestly, you don't have to with scallops. Don't overcook them because they're so much better if you do not. And you didn't put any any oil or anything on the side. I, of the I had pan, cured the you? pan earlier, oh, you okay. but you know, but but uh, these. What, and the thing about um, grilling is, don't mess with them. Let them get the side. They will stick. But it's just like chicken or anything that you put on the grill. Let it cook to a certain, um, you know, so that it crisps up. Yep. And then then turn it because okay. that way. If you mess with it, it's going to stick to the grill. How long would you say? Because I never know. I, I'm so impatient. I always think it's done sooner than it is. You, know? uh, you have to be, yeah, you have to be patient. You I mean, scallops, cook, they cook up so quickly. I get anxious that it's burning, and then I flip it, and I'm like, oh, man, I didn't even get it golden, you know? <laughs> but you got to give it time. You do. Sometimes it's best to actually just walk away. <laughs> just walk yeah, away. Just walk away. Don't stare at it. It's kind of like waiting for now, water to boil. I heard, I've heard, I think it was actually from you, uh -huh. that when you grill, you want to pat your, your food dry before Yep, absolutely. Yep. So you want to make sure that it's not too moist, right? No, no, that's it. You get a nicer sear on it with okay. everything. So that's why we have a uh, look at these beautiful peaches. Oh man, you can do this with figs. You can do this with you know figs. Do you have to cut the figs? Of, um, there's my fig right there. You you can do it. I I actually did a great um, appetizer with a fig wrapped in prosciutto with a little bit of gorgonzola in the middle, and then you throw it on the grill and you just get the prosciutto to sear up on the outside. Delicious.
Oh my goodness! Can we make that next time? Uh -huh. This is a little fig. It is. And, and they, they're what wonderful. What does fig taste like? I'm not a big fig person. Come on, let's open it up Come and find on. out. Come on! Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> does it taste like a fig, Newton? Ah, uh, better. Actually, <laughs> fresh figs are one better, of my right? favorite things. Look how delicious these are. Oh, Look it's how so beautiful pretty. They, are. they really are. Here Can you eat the skin of a fig? Absolutely. Please do. Now, when you're picking out a fig. Do you want it to be like you know avocado is like the riper the better? You don't want them to be too gushy. You want them just the way they are. You don't want them because that means they're already on their way out. Tastes like a plum. It's it's unbelievable and it has a lovely texture too. And it's so pretty. I like the color. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. I'm gonna keep eating my fig. Okay. All right. So you just put some term turmeric. Is yep. that you turmeric, turmeric. 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 A little white over. pepper. Okay. I'm just gonna let them sit. Let them sit, and then the, the shrimp you had here on the skewer, mm -hmm. and you are and those didn't take long at all. The, no. The shrimp free... as soon as they turn pink, take them off. All right, done so with them. we're going to let this grill, Kathleen. Oh, yeah. And I'm so looking much. forward to seeing you again in the kitchen a little bit later. Okay. All right, Good enjoy pleasure. cooking. Welcome back to Mass Appeal. We're in the kitchen with Kathleen Delaney. She's the owner of Great Grapes Catering. Earlier in the show, we were grilling in the kitchen. We now sure the smoke were. has cleared and it still smells good. I know, I'm excited. Well, you know, the, the key for to today's grilling, I think, is just don't forget to grill your fruit, too, because I love the grilled peaches. The peaches are all stone fruits, anything like that. Put them on your grill. Also, pineapple is absolutely delicious. Grilled as well, uh, and you don't need to put anything on it. No, right? it's residual sugar. They just get caramelized. It's unbelievably so tasty. Good. And now the, the figs too. You know. And mm. the figs. Can I steal one? Oh, I know please. you made. Actually, I might get in trouble for no, it. it's okay. ruining the picture. Are you it's sure? Okay. Okay. Yes, it's okay. It's, it looks <laughs> delicious. All right, so we've got shrimp that you have here grilled. Yes. Let's just recap mm -hmm. what's on this pretty grilled plate shrimp, here. grilled um, scallops. And grilled peaches, all with a, just a little salad in the middle, and you have a very well balanced meal for all your guests or for just you and your family. And now, what did you put for seasoning on the seafood? Like I said, I, I did. A, I made my own, um, mm -hmm. my own little curry, sort of. It's with uh, turmeric and uh, cumin, lots of a uh, little bit of cardamom. I made it all together, but I really like turmeric, and it's an excellent antioxidant. Plus, it brings a real nice dash of color to your plate. It does. Look at how pretty that is. It's and this pretty. is a really healthy meal. We, it's Fitness Friday. We've been talking about eating healthy, mm -hmm. being healthy. Absolutely. Get and, grilling. And it's really good for you, and it's an easy cleanup. All we have now to clean up is just one grill the pan. grill pan. Hey, who cares yeah. if it's raining? You can still grill. <laughs> Kathleen, thanks so much. You bet. Always good. And now I, I'm going to have to try one of your little shrimp. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> thanks so much. <laughs>